Is there any reason why uh, you guys never fought Brody and Hanson? They, they just you know, I, I just think the timing it wasn't in the cards. It, see, there was an issue um, when we first went to Japan. Brody had a problem with it because he knew that we were going to get over huge in Japan, right? Just with the Japanese love of the silver and black and being the faces and just our attitude. And, and Brody was the only guy over there with that kind of attitude. And he didn't like it very much. So Brody kind of stayed away. We were friends with Brody, but he just kind of stayed away. Now we wrestled Stan and Harley Race and had a beat down in Cleveland, Ohio with the Chicago Street Fight. It was brutal. All of us were bleeding. Stan, Stan and Hanson was blind as a bat, right? Would kill everybody with that stupid cowbell of his. Bam! Slice you open, right? It was pretty bad. But yeah, Brody, Brody was a good guy. I mean, I'll, I'll never forget. You want to hear Brody's story? I'll tell you Brody's story. Jumbo Saruta in Japan, right? Would always screw up Hawk's high spots. Everything I did with Jumbo, he was smooth as silk, easy. Every time he got in the ring with Hawk, he'd screw it up. Well, after about a two month tour, Hawk's pissed off. Jumbo screwed up every night for two months in Japan. And tradition in Japan, you gotta really be respectful. You don't kick doors, you don't break windows, you don't break glass as well. Not Road Warrior Hawk. Hawk comes out of the ring one time and kicks that door open into their locker room and their glass shatters. He goes, come here you noodle sucking son of a bee, you know? He goes, I know you understand English. You better quit screwing up our high spots or we're really gonna have issues. Jumbo Cerullo, Cerullo was 6'8", 300 pounds, right? You know, and Hawk's yelling at him saying, hey, I can hit a lot harder throwing up than I can down, you know, to the big tall guy. And Jumbo's eyes went up, and since then, they never had an issue. We go back to the American locker room, and there's Brody by himself. What does Brody do to break the ice? He finds our face paint. Well, he puts face paint on his penis and says, hey, look, I got the third road warrior. <laughs> and yeah, that broke the ice, man. The whole locker room cracked up, and from then, we were good buddies with Brody, you know. Is that why you uh, never worked for uh, WWC Puerto Rico in later years after you passed? You know, uh, out of respect to Frank, we didn't go back to Puerto Rico for a while. I mean, it was wrestled Carl Luke Carlos Cologne a bunch of times. He and Abdullah, we wrestled in the, the outdoor stadium there and sold it out and had a great match with him. <coughs> I love to do it, but you know, <clears throat> out of respect to Frank, we never went back to Puerto Rico.